Hello, I'm David Hunt and welcome to Staying Alive. It's a panel show about the now generation. Grey power I'm talking about. Let me introduce uh, our panel today. We're starting off with the ladies. Gordon, how are you today? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you, David. Right, and welcome along. And Greg? Thanks, David. How are you? And our very special new to our show, Lisa, welcome. Thank you, David. I'm not so grey, though. No, you're not. No, and no. What, what you're doing is bringing a different perspective in, into the show because it's, it's actually good to look forward to, to your future, isn't it? Absolutely. And I've got a little bit more time to look forward to my future. Mm, thanks, Lisa, for <laughs> thanks, being a smart ass as well. <laughs> uh, so, OK, our topic today is Beatles versus One Direction, mm -hmm. pop culture versus old versus new. It's so important that we, we look back at um, the amazing uh, works of the Beatles and pop culture, but also what One Direction's doing, because you know, they've been around for about four or five years now, not as long as the Beatles, as Gordon, Gordon uh, pointed out to me before, but they're, they're having an impact. Gordon, what's your, your slant on, on the, these two artists? Well, um, I figure that the Beatles will probably live forever, because they're is near. that you as an oldie saying, oh, they're not as good as the oldies? No, no, I, I like uh, One Direction, 1D, as, as, as the locals call them. It's just 1D, not One Direction, David. Get up with it. Okay, and, sorry. Um, but 1D are very talented. They're, very good. they're a very good group, but they were formed in 2010. Mm -hmm. And they've, they've, so they've been around for four years where the Beatles were around actually for 10 years. It was their, where it was their productive time. But they weren't record, they, they were only recording in the end, weren't they? They gave up touring. Oh, they gave up touring, yeah, yep. but they, they were still recording and everything. But, but the, um, I was reading about One Direction and they are very, very good at um, not only their music, but raising money for charity. They've helped raise over twenty-six million dollars, or twenty-six million pound, or something rather, for yep. some charity in England. Right. Okay. So that they're very, and it, which to me is very, very good when when people do that with yeah. their talent, you know. But I like them. I think One Direction are great. They've okay. got a great sound. Um, but their lasting power um, down generations, we'll we'll wait and see. Mm. Lisa, what, what's your your feeling with pop culture? Um, you know, like we've, we've spoken about the Beatles versus uh, One Direction. Um, old versus new, you know, like, is there, it's, what's pop culture like these days? Um, I, you know, well, I'm not so young, but um, I'm in my mid 40s, but so oh, I grew up with the so Beatles. Young. And, oh, my um, God, thanks. And m mind you, I do think the Beatles have a longer um, longevity than mm. perhaps one, one Direction, but like Gordon said, in this day and age, I think um, One Direction is. Uh, a phenomenon that we probably haven't seen in a long time. And um, I think pop culture, as far as One Direction or in general, like, you know, like I said, you know, vinyl is making a comeback basically. So the old records that we used to listen to um, are actually making a comeback. All the new um, artists are actually are punching vinyl now and they're becoming mm. a very big thing. So I think that's making a comeback and that's our new pop culture. Right, and, and vinyl is has actually outsold CDs in England this, this year. Yep. Uh, which is, and CDs are on the decline, but vinyl is, and it's a whole new generation of people wanting vinyl. Yep. It's because it's that whole feeling of turning it over, putting the needle on it, getting that beautiful, pure sound, which CDs lost that sound, didn't I think the it? production with vinyl as well is, is now they're doing so much better and it actually sounds a lot better. Um, you know, not, not many of us have record players anymore, but I know I dragged out my mum's old record I do. player. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. I do, do you have yours? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have a vinyl record player and I wish I did. I don't even have a CD player anymore because I play everything um, through. MP3. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Greg, your thoughts? I think it's a little bit more about um, who's behind them. Now, Beatles had had an organic sort of mix with, with their community, with their listening audience, and then the record label came on board. One well, Direction, and they didn't get a, a record label at the start. With, that's right. But they had to do a lot of work themselves. Yep. One Direction is, is manufactured, mm. it's crafted. Mm. Um, I'd like to see what they sound like when their balls drop. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> there's, there's one, th one thing about One Direction is that they're so popular because of um, media. The, the, yes. The, the, yes. The, what, what do you call it? The social, social, media. social media. media. Yeah. They're the ones they've been able to get it. Yeah. Well, look, it, it is, and it is the case of they don't write their own songs, where that's why yeah. where mm -hmm. the Beatles were amazing because they wrote their own songs. But back in the, the day, era of the Beatles, uh, the Americans thought, oh my God, um, we can't let the Beatles run everything. Mm -hmm. So they created uh, the Monkeys. The monkeys. The Beatle clones, uh, yeah. effectively. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, exactly, and a TV show around it because the Beatles had a cartoon series that mm -hmm. they did. Now, this is exactly what they're doing with One Direction. They're, they're, you know, it's manufactured and it's good and it's healthy and they've obviously got great songwriters behind them. But, but David, them. maybe there's more um, One Direction clones in the same plane. I mean, really, they're just part of a culture of crafted, manufactured boy groups. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bit well, different. They were the first of the new white, um, clean cut mm -hmm. singers that came on the market with, the, with, with One Direction. They they were sort of cloning the Beatles, which were like that when they first mm. started. Mm. You know, so now that they that, that whole generation has changed and the yeah. and, and, mm. and One Direction are coming. We well, see Harry is the one from One Direction who's going to end up, I think, being a bit of a superstar in his own right. You know, like he's but when he breaks free, when he breaks, he's got to break free to do it. Yeah, doesn't he? yeah, and you know, like, I I can't see you know, like you, know, you look at Justin Bieber, you know, he's he's um, a moment is is starting to fade a fair bit, mm -hmm. and it, and it will happen with with One Direction. That's they, because he's a tool, David. It's because he's a tool. <laughs> okay, and he's doing a lot. Of Silly things, yeah. and and that's the lovely thing about One Direction that they're not making too many bad mistakes. Mm. Yeah. You know, like they're they're obviously being managed Good a lot management. more. management. Yep. That's the thing and, that they and, have. And, to have. Know, like, and that that's key to it. And it's so important to actually have that behind them. Like the Beatles had a great manager, who, and when he died. Um, they started to fall to pieces yeah. because they, they put the wrong people in place. Mm. It was other people that end up being a little bit yes people. They wanted to also run their, their own, own lives a lot more. And they were you know, like pulling apart as well. But it's, it's lovely to look back and see um, what the beautiful history that, that we've got from the Beatles yeah. and how much so many young generations you know, that, that come up uh, along the way, love the Beatles. And are influenced by the music that's been influenced. Yeah. Maybe who will be influenced by One Direction? Uh, what will be there in 10, 20 years that influenced by One Direction? Truly, mm. maybe. it's very hard to, w that would be a hard thing to work out mm. right now, but you, it's, it, in another five years time, perhaps that the answer might come through. Mm. Well, look, Culture Club was so big at one moment, um, and they, you know, like, we don't talk about them very much at all anymore, unfortunately. That's all we've got time for. Um, thanks for, for, for watching today. I've got to thank Lisa. No You've worries. done a great job. Well, work, welcome aboard. Fantastic. You're, you're, like, you're part of the team now. Greg, and you, I've got to congratulate you because you actually arrived on time today. Thanks, David. And our, our <laughs> resident um, lady on the panel, uh, Gordon. Thanks, everyone. You've been watching Staying Alive.